Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a super, super huge and fun unboxing to do with you guys. I have a bunch of new fleece liners. I have a surprise package from the pig room. I have toys, I have cage supplies. Like I went and bought, also ignore me waving around the scissors. Um, I'm prepared this time to open my packages. I always forget them, but now I have them ready and in hand, but I bought new liners for every single one of my cages. I haven't ever, ever bought like custom made liners before. As you guys know, if you've seen my videos, usually I just layer washable puppy pads with fleece on top. And that way I can do a lot of different fleece patterns, but it's becoming a huge pain every time I clean the cages to have to like fold the fleece and make it fit the dimensions of the cage. And I was just, I was sick and tired of it. And I have like the perfect layout for my room right now. All of my cages are probably going to be this size or some variation of like the equivalent for the foreseeable future. So I figured it was timely. Whoa, finally time to invest in some liners. So I have that here to open for you guys. Then I have the pig room package, like I said, and then I'm going to also be cleaning the cages for you all. So I'll be trying out the new liners and I'll be trying out all the new toys, new accessories, all of it. So super exciting video ahead. We're gonna start with the haul. I will not be picking up the packages because I physically am not sure that I can. I carried one of them down from downstairs and almost uh, fell down my stairs trying to do that. So I'm just gonna lean over on the ground and open them here. All right, this first package, it is literally like two feet tall. It is from Fur Baby Fleece. I have gotten her stuff before, like her accessories and such but I've never bought liners for her from her. So I did these custom orders and I'm very excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys. Like I said, there's five liners in here and each, each liner is three by five for the 12 inch grid. So they're all huge. So I'm very excited. Thank God I have the scissors. I would not be able to open this. Oh my gosh. Like it looks insane here. I'm gonna, I wanna try to pick it up to show you guys but I don't want it to like fall over. I'm... It just ripped. Okay. It says every, <coughs> oh my gosh. I was also sick last week. So if you hear me coughing, that is why. But this is like every, I'm struggling to hold this up, but these are my liners. They're beautiful. Let's get to opening them. I spent 350 total on five liners. So she, it's actually very affordable if you consider the size of the liner that she does. First off, I have two pink ones, which only seemed fitting. Oh, look at it. Okay, this is the first pattern. So it is this pink gingham color. And then I got the back to be a solid pink. They are actually decently thin, which I know some people don't love, but personally that makes it so much easier for my washer and dryer to handle it when they're super thick. My dryer, it it can't, like it struggles so hard, especially drying on like low heat so it'll stay wicked. My dryer, it struggles. So I like that they're actually a little bit thinner. I believe there is one layer of U-Haul in this. So this is perfect. I also usually use a lot of bath mats in my cages for like the high traffic pee spots. So I don't think there's any issue with this being like this thick. I think it'll be a good size. So this one is three by five for, one of my three by five cages, I have three three by fives and a three by 10. So all these liners are, will be like interchangeable for all the cages. So I kind of planned it around that. So I wouldn't have to get different sizes. Each cage is made up of the same three by five sections. So that'll be really great. Like I said, the back is a solid pink. And then I also, for the other pink one, I also got a solid pink. So if I wanted to put these in, in the three by 10, I could just use the solid colors and make them match in the three by 10 or have like multiple cages be the same shade of pink just so I can make things as cohesive as possible um, and use the same liners over and over and over because that is my ultimate goal. I used to love like doing all sorts of different patterns and stuff, but with this many cages, cleaning that much fleece and storing that much fleece, it's become a pain. So I just want staples. I want products that I love, that I can use over and over and over in my cages to make it easier to clean every week. So that is why I got this cutest pattern ever. It's also pink gingham, but obviously 
it has the strawberries and I have other strawberry like stuff that's super cute. So this will be super exciting. It'll match with my other stuff. This is adorable. All this fleece, I'm pretty sure she sources it from Joanne. So if you're looking for these specific patterns, Joanne should have them. But like I said, um, I will link her shop down below if you guys want some liners. So I'm excited. And then the next three are like neutral brown colors. So that some of my other hides and stuff are like more vibrant or different colors. So I wanted to also have some neutral stuff. So this is like a tree bark pattern here. I might already own this fleece, like in a plain fleece, like a, like the regular thin, not a liner. I don't know, but I, I love this fleece. It's so versatile. And the back is like this tan bone color here. So all these are reversible. I can use whatever side I want. And then the next two are the same pattern because I wanted to get some for my three by 10 that were the same pattern, not just the same solid. So I picked a more neutral color for that. So this is what I chose for them. It is a yellow grid pattern, very simplistic. It'll go a lot, whoa. It'll go really well with lots of my pattern hides, my solid hides. It's got the same bone color on it that was on the tree bark one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, same kind of bone color so that I could use them together on the solid side if I wanted to. And I have two of this kind. And that is all my liners. I have to put these in my washer and wick them before we were able to clean the cages. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar, basically what you wanna do when you get your fleece liners is you go through a process called wicking. And the purpose of this is so that instead of them peeing on it and it sits on top in a little puddle, once you've wicked the fleece and you've removed like that top layer of, I don't know, whatever protectiveness they have on it, the pee will instead go through the top layer and go into the absorbent layer. So I will be wicking these. I'll link a video down below about how to wick fleece. If you guys have never heard of that or you're unfamiliar with how that works, I will link it down below. But those are my five liners from Fur Baby Fleece. Thank you Fur Baby Fleece for making these for me. Um, I love her. She is on Instagram if you wanna do like custom orders, custom sizes, custom fabrics. And she also has some pre-made stuff on her shop as well. And then I have my second package from Austin over at the pig room. He just keeps sending me stuff, I swear. Thank you, Austin. Uh, every month, every week, I feel like there's a new package just showing up at my doorstep. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have no clue what's in here. Like, absolutely no clue. Complete surprise. So I'm very excited. I think he said there's also stuff for my bunnies in here. So we'll have to see. Oh, okay. We got an announcement, guys. The Bun Room launches on May 1st at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So I that's that's a good reminder. I was gonna forget about that. So Austin is opening a like sister business, the bun room to go with the pig room, where he will have bunny stuff, bunny supplies launching on May 1st. So get excited guys. I think maybe that's what some of this stuff is, like his future bun room products. Um, I hope so. Holy cow, y'all. I gotta show you what I just opened. This is insane. I'm speechless. He hooked me up. Look at all this, guys. This is insane. I'm like stalked for months. Let me take a picture of this. Ah, where's my phone? I don't know if this is all bunny stuff or like some of it's also pig stuff. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna start pulling things out and we'll just make decisions um, about who they will be best for. Oh my goodness. All right, first off, we have bowls. These could go to anybody. Most of the stuff I think will probably just be versatile pigs or bunnies, but if the bunnies can fit in like the house, I'm definitely gonna give it to them. But these I think could be for anybody. Don't you guys agree? Don't you agree, Pina? You, you want one of these? Peanut thinks this should be for her, 100%. Next up we have, oh, there were two of them. These mats, these look like they would be good for the buns. I don't know what these are made out of, but we have two mats here. Um, if I did it for the pigs, I'd probably hang it vertically on their cage just because I wouldn't want them to pee on it or poop on it. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is kind of like 
the product that Oxbow sells where it is a hay foraging mat. So you can hide pellets, forage, whatever in here. I used to have these uh, for my rabbits and I absolutely loved it. So I'm so glad to have another one. It's so versatile and it obviously promotes like natural foraging behaviors made out of natural materials. So if they chew it, you know, unlike a fleece foraging mat, there is no issues there. So it also smells pretty good. So that's good. <laughs> we got a giant ball. I already have another giant ball somewhere in the cages. I think it's in progress of being destroyed. So this will be a good replacer. Oh, this is so cute. What the heck? Okay, this has to be for the rabbits. Look how cute this is, like a little decoration mat that is also edible. Maybe in this video, I need to also clean the bunny room. If we have time today, um, after all my liners, like Wicked and everything, I will try to film myself cleaning the bunny room because I have all this bunny stuff. I feel like I should. So that may also be included. We will see, but super cute. Wow, I don't know if this is for the rabbits or the pigs. I'm probably going to give it to the pigs because my rabbits are large or Luna's pretty large. And I truly don't think that she would be able to fit through this hole. But for smaller rabbits, this could definitely work. This is definitely good for the pigs. There's just more stuff like stuffed in here, like all up in here. This is insane. Okay. There's stuff like ringing, making noise. I don't know. There's so much. Okay. This tunnel, absolutely for the pigs. Adorable, perfect size for them. I know they will destroy it. A bunch of toys. So, oh, I think this is, I don't know who this could be for. I'm thinking the rabbits. I don't think as a little bell at the bottom and the guinea pigs are making their little like upset noises when it, ri when it rings. I don't know if you can hear them, but they do it to like my text tone and stuff. Like they'll make a little rumble noise at my text tone because they don't like the way that it sounds. And they're doing it when I ring the bell at the bottom of this. So I think I'll give it to my bunnies. I'll probably try and remove the bell too, just for like safety. Cause it makes me a little bit nervous, but okay. They are, I got to put this down. They keep doing the little warning noise when I shake it, but this has got so much on it. I will definitely be giving this to my rabbits. And then we have chains where the piggies could hang these, could do whatever with these lots of options for the chains. Oh, mini mats. These are so cute. I could hang these on the side of the pig cages, maybe. Or the rabbits, you know. <laughs> My rabbits just aren't as big of like toy chewers, to be honest. But they could still definitely enjoy this. Another Timothy carrot. I opened these in my last haul video and they're already gone. It's been a week and they've already eaten all three. So now I got a new one. Oh, it's a chain. Oh, nope, it's not. Okay. I thought this was like a long chain, but it's two little babies. Oh, look at them. They're like little mini, oh, I don't know the name of this material. I never do guys, but they're little stars on a chain. Look how cute, it's adorable. Okay, pigs for sure. Oh, okay, I was gonna put it on my head like to be funny, but then hay started falling out of it. So I will not be putting it on my head, but we have like a little dome hut. It's actually a pretty big size and the entrance is a good size too. I just have a big rabbit, like Luna's just large, but I think most rabbits could fit in this if they're a smaller breed. Oh, wow, okay. Thought it was gonna be a, um, like a tent, like a triangle, but it is a square. So this is like a bigger version. I think it's a bigger version of the one that I had for the pigs. Maybe it's the same size. No, I feel like it's bigger. I feel like it's bigger. Okay, I had one of these for the pigs, but I feel like this is bigger, but the pigs could still enjoy this. Uh, I just have to like evaluate each one and like look at my rabbits and decide if it's big enough. But the, I know the pigs would love this and I'm so tempted to give it to them. We've got a little chain. I've had one of these before and they loved it. And this one has like little nice metal clips on it on the ends. So it'll be a lot easier for me to hang up. They destroyed my other chain and it fell apart. So this will be good. Oh, these are really cute. They look like little, I was gonna say mushrooms. I don't think that's true. Um, <laughs> Cause they got both ends, but I have two of these. They're super cute. I think these will be for the buns because they do have a little bit. I think this is loofah on the end and I tend to avoid giving my guinea pigs loofah. 
but I think bunnies are a little bit better at digesting that sort of stuff. So I think this could be good for them. We have one and we have two here. So this is like hay and it's inside of a little wrap. And you could just keep refilling this with hay until like obviously they chew it up, but that is so cute. Okay, amazing. And I have a big one here too. I have two of these. They're like a little burrito size. It's so cute. Filled with hay. Again, restuffable until they like absolutely destroy this. I think the bunnies have had something similar before and really enjoyed it. So this could be a great option for them. I guess you could put hay in this. Um, little fun shaped toy. It's got like an open hole here. I think maybe hay would be good. I think the pellets would just fall right out the holes. So I think hay for this. Another little ball. I have one of these in the cage somewhere as well right now. So always good to have replacements. And then, okay, this is big. I like this. This is definitely great for the bunnies. So it's got like a little lid here. And I could put treats in here, could put hay in here, could put forage in here, lots of fun stuff. And they would have to sort of work to get it open, get it out, get it through the holes, chew it up. Could be super great. So that is the last thing. That was so much in that box. Thank you so much, Austin. Let me go get to wicking these fleeces and then we will get to cleaning the cages and giving the bunnies and the pigs all of these fun new toys. Oh, I just dropped it. All right, everyone. It is a few days later. I have finished wicking all my fleece and it's time to clean the cages. Uh, this is what they look like. It's been a little bit over a week, unfortunately, with wicking the fleece, it got postponed a little bit. Cage cleaning day. Um, I did not spot clean last night, which is why they look like this. So I didn't spot clean because I knew it would be full clean today. So they look a little rough. Uh, this one's not that bad. And then everybody else. So all of my fleece is wicked and I am ready to get cleaning. I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be so neat and so much easier to just have the liners. So let's go ahead and get to cleaning. Oh, hi, baby. Never met someone like you, uh, felt something like your touch. I wish we would have met tonight. Sure, I've had lovers in my past. Won't lie, I've had a blast. But none of them had your humor. They can't compare. No one could ever do. Nobody's close to you, yeah. One night's not fair. What can I say to make you never leave this room? I need you to stay. 
right, guys. All of the cages are now clean, including Waffles. I did clean his off camera just because it's hard to record this bottom cage. But everybody's cage is clean. I love the liner so much. This one is 100% my favorite. They were a little bit large, I think, to just account for any shrinkage in the washer. So I just kind of put the edges over the front. And I actually really love the way that looks. It looks super clean. I forgot to do it on this. This was the first one I did. Um, so this one just looks like normal. And this cage is a little bit smaller than a 3x5. It has this little grid overlap here. So I, I just kind of folded it under over here. But the others, I did have them go up and over on the front. And it just looks so like clean it'll also help protect the size of the coroplast and i have this huge mess all over the floor um just i don't even know like looking at this just hurts my head and i've decided that this is tomorrow's problem because i did all the cages all of the cages are clean all of the pigs have like fresh environments they have all their new toys fun stuff they've already pooped everywhere as per usual, but it's just 9 p.m. and I just cannot tackle this right now. So I will see you guys in the morning. We will clean up this room and then we will also give the bunnies some of their new stuff tomorrow as well. So I will see you all then. is now all clean all complete I just finished like swiffering the floor with some white vinegar so that's all clean and then I also spot cleaned the cages because somehow just overnight they had made such a mess there were so many poos so now everything is all clean and I just love having the liners it's so much easier to do the cage cleans make them go so much faster and of course everything just looks super cohesive so I'm gonna try and back up so you can see the whole room. I just love it. It just looks so great. 
and so clean. I know it'll only stay like this for a very short time, but I'm very pleased with it. And now I have to go clean the rabbit room and give them their new toys. Oh, hi, pumpkin. Oh, bye, pumpkin. So let's go say hi to the rabbits. Hello, hello. Are you excited for some new toys? I cleared out this little space so we could try out some of the new stuff. You guys wanna try this? Hey, oh my goodness. Luna. Luna. Yeah, okay. That's a no. Luna, try the toy. No need to hump. <laughs> He's like traumatized over there. Coda. I think they want food. They like expect pellets right now. Is that what you want, pellet? We can do pellets, okay. There, she's literally mad at me. She wants pellets. Let's do that and get them, you know, kind of deeper in there. There we go. All they needed was the pellets to get interested. You gotta get them. You gotta work for them. I don't have any. Oh my goodness, he looked so cute there. Coda. Here, let's see what else we got in our magic box. We have this, Luna. Oh, hi, baby. Also have a mat and then this. I know Coda can't chew because he doesn't have his front teeth. So the toys are not quite as exciting for him, unfortunately. Luna, these are mostly for you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Hi. He wants his critical care or his pellets. He's like, where's the food that I can immediately eat? All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. They're gonna be here behind me enjoying their new toys, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you did and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye. Say bye guys. Bye.